Hi, my name is Dan Nani, Senior Designer at Guerrilla Games, and today I'll be talking about the Engineer career in Killzone 3 and his role on the battlefield. The primary role of the Engineer is to provide support for his team, whether they're attacking or defending. Not only are their weapons and abilities designed to form the ultimate defense, but by preparing mounted weapons and ammo crates, and by deploying sentry turrets, Engineers can become a formidable offensive force. The Engineer's weapons cater towards providing support for your team. One of these weapons is a snappy, aggressive submachine gun. On either end of the submachine gun, you'll find two light machine guns, capable of pinning the enemy down and allowing your team to advance or gain a tactical advantage in each encounter. The three secondary weapons available to the Engineer allow him to defend himself against almost any enemy. The STA-18 is a standard semi-automatic combat pistol with a good fire rate, which will help dig you out of some pretty tight spots. The STA-2 battle pistol, on the other hand, allows you to fire smart grenades. These grenades will bounce off the geometry and detonate on impact with enemy players. Lastly, the Engineer has a shotgun pistol. Any enemy players stood within close proximity are as good as dead when you wield this pistol. The ability to repair a number of items in each map is the Engineer's real strength. There are mounted weapons and ammo boxes that will really help your team to gain the upper hand tactically, making the Engineer a vital career in winning the game for your team. The Engineer can also place sentry turrets. Not only that, but the Engineers can also hack enemy turrets, turning them against the enemy team. With this array of offensive and defensive weapons and abilities, the Engineer really is the ultimate team player. Be sure to log on to Killzone.com Station.